what my demonstration is going to show is how impact is created with a downward leading action of the handle of the club. Through impact, my hands are actually leading the club face. So there's a few different factors that are at play. You have the loft of the golf club. Well, the loft, the flat section right here, is impacting with the round surface of the golf ball. When that takes place, if it's done in a descending manner, spin occurs. The grooves on the face and the angle of the face actually take the golf ball and begin to torque it backwards like this. That spin with the dimples creates lift. That's one way to get the ball in the air. If you've struggled with impact, you may not have a good appreciation of this particular angle where the hands need to be leading the club face. If you've topped a ball, scooped it, mishit it in some way, what's probably happened is as you've come into where this tee is right here, you've gone ahead and tilted the handle backwards in order to try to elevate the face and hit the shot in the air. As you can see by my demonstration, the tee that the ball was on is an inch to two inches actually behind the divot. So what this tells you is that the attack angle of the club struck the ball first and then carried on past the tee down into the turf to take a nice divot. The bounce on the club is another factor. All clubs are designed with a degree of bounce. So what bounce is, is it's a skidding capability of the golf club. If this was a very sharp pointed edge, you would strike down into the turf and like a knife blade, it would continue to cut down. Bounce is designed for the club to enter the turf and then gradually exit with a rounded part of the bottom of the club. So if we recap quickly, to hit a good solid shot and to create solid impact, you want to have your hands ahead of the club face. As you swing, you're going to feel a sense of delay. What the delay is, is also a little bit of a flex in the shaft. So you create delay, hands ahead, and you strike down on the back of the ball, allowing the club face with the grooves and the spin to hit the ball up in the air. This is a good demonstration of impact. And next time when you go play and you tee up on a par three, let's see if you can leave the tee in the ground and have your divot start afterwards. Right here, I'm gonna make sure that I pop it right in on the back, stick the club in the 